Why is my website slow? Part 6. Your website might be slow because it's not lazy. Let me explain. Now, I didn't mean lazy literally, I meant lazy loading. So let me explain what lazy loading is and how you can take advantage of it. So this is the typical structure of a web page. You have the header, right? The header, the logo, anything. Then maybe some text and then images and then text, images, text, images, text, images, similar to that. Now, imagine if the user is here on this section, right? They're reading this text here. The next thing they'll probably see is this image and they'll take a logical flow to the bottom of the page. Now, if your website is not lazy loaded, then what happens is as soon as the page loads, even if the user is here, these images will also start loading. This image will also start loading. This image will also start loading, which you can understand will tank the performance of the page, right? Because everything is, has been or is starting to load at the same time, even though the user is actually here. Now, if your website is lazy loaded, then this is what happens. It kind of detects where the user is and just loads the asset just next to it. So if the user is here, as I pointed out, then this image will be loaded. And if they are at this page or this, let's say this section, then this image will be loaded. And if they're at this section, then this image will start loading. And if they're at this section, then this image will start loading, which definitely helps the performance of the website. Now, thankfully, lazy loading has been part of WordPress since WordPress 5.5, August 2020. So if you have an updated version of WordPress, you are good. But there's always a small percentage of people who do not update their WordPress sites for the longest time. So you might be one of those people who just didn't update and forgot about lazy loading. So now you know that being lazy can actually help. So make sure to update your WordPress to the latest version and enjoy a faster website. And of course, don't forget to follow me for more website building advice.